Hi, Mikey. What's going on? Just fixing my bike, but I'm all done. Would you like some popcorn? Sure. Wait, your hands are all dirty. Just a little. Doesn't matter. You need to wash your hands with soap and water to get all the dirt and germs off. Why? Because dirty hands can make you sick. Dirt can make you sick? Yeah, the germs and dirt can make you sick. But there are lots of things you can do to keep yourself clean, neat, and healthy. Do you know what to do to stay neat and clean? We can show you. So let's go. Make sure you scrub good and use warm water. I am. You know, sometimes it's easy to tell when your hands are dirty. But sometimes it's not. That's what Sarah learned. One day, Sarah was helping her dad clean the garage. The garage was very dirty. When they were finished, the garage was clean, but Sarah's hands were dirty. Sometimes it's easy to see when your hands are dirty, like the dirt on Sarah's hands. Dirt is not good for your body. Dirt and germs can make you sick. But sometimes you can't see dirt on your hands. Sarah's mom asked her to take out the garbage. So, Sarah pushed the garbage down into the bag and carried it out to the trash bin. Whoa, Sarah, you need to wash your hands from taking out the garbage. They're very dirty. Mom, my hands aren't dirty. I don't see any dirt. Sarah, sometimes we say your hands are dirty because they have germs on them. Germs are harmful to your body, and germs can make you sick. I don't see any germs. I know you can't see the germs, but they're there. Your hands get dirty whenever you touch something that is dirty, or you touch something that has germs. So what's dirty? Lots of things you touch every day are dirty and have germs on them. And that means the germs can get on you. It's important to wash your hands every time you touch something that is dirty and has germs. Your hands get dirty after touching the garbage. So wash your hands. Your hands get dirty when you take off your shoes. So wash your hands. Your hands get dirty when you blow your nose. So wash your hands. Your hands can get dirty when you touch a doorknob. So wash your hands. And your hands get dirty whenever you use the toilet. So wash your hands. Washing your hands helps you keep your hands clean from dirt and germs and helps you stay healthy. You need to wash your hands many times a day with soap and water. The first thing to do is rub your hands with soap. Get the soap all over your hands and fingers and in between your fingers. Take your time washing your hands. How long should you wash your hands? Well, some people count to 30. Some people say the ABCs. And some people sing the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle twinkle little star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. When you're finished, rinse your hands with warm, clean water. And finally, dry your hands with a clean towel or paper towel. You did a great job washing your hands. Thanks, Mom. They'll be clean for a little while, but you'll have to wash them again when they get dirty. I will. All clean. Now can I have some popcorn? Sure.
Marble, come back! Mandy, what are you doing? I have to give Marble a bath. Why? Because he's dirty, and he's starting to smell pretty bad. Yuck. You know, dogs do get dirty. And people get dirty, too. That's why people have to take a bath or shower every day. And that's exactly what Sam learned. One night, Sam was playing a board game with his dad, but it was getting late. Nice move, Sam. Good job. Thanks. Oh, but look at the time. It's time to uh, take a shower and get ready for bed. I don't need to take a shower. Sure you do. Why? I'm not dirty. I don't see any dirt. See? <laughs> well, you can be dirty without seeing any dirt. Everyone's body gets dirty from sweat, germs, every day. If we don't wash, well, then we can start to smell bad and, and it's unhealthy. That's why you have to wash by taking a bath or a shower. You understand? Yep. I don't want to smell. I'll take a shower now. <laughs> Good. When you're ready to take a shower, go to the bathroom and close the door. There, you can take off your clothes. You don't want other people to see you undressing. But it's okay if your parents are there, because they may need to help. Next, you could turn on the faucet and let it run until the water feels warm and comfortable. You don't want it too hot or too cold. When all your clothes are off, you could step into the shower. Be careful, it may be slippery. If there's a curtain, be sure to close it and keep it inside the tub so water doesn't get on the floor. When you take a shower or bath, it's important to use warm water and soap. Put one or two squeezes of soap onto a washcloth or scrubby. That's all. It's important to wash every part of your body with soap. Using a washcloth or a scrubby, you need to wash your face, ears, neck, shoulders, arms, underarms, your chest, belly, back, legs, feet, bottom, everywhere. Then you need to rinse yourself with warm water. Your hair gets dirty too, so it's important to wash your hair with shampoo. Shampoo will help to clean your hair and make it smell nice. Squeeze a little shampoo into your hand, just a small circle of soap. Then rub the shampoo all through your hair. Make sure to scrub all your hair. Then, rinse your hair with warm water until all the shampoo is gone. When you're finished washing and rinsing all of the shampoo and soap from your body, you can turn off the water. Then, using a towel, dry all the parts of your body. Dry your face, ears, neck, shoulders, chest, arms, belly, legs, and feet. And don't forget your back and bottom. You need to dry your hair. Then, use a brush or comb to get the tangles out of your hair. When you're all dry, you can put on clean underwear, clothes, or pajamas. Then you can open the bathroom door and feel nice and clean. Marvel, doesn't this bath feel good? He's getting nice and clean. We'll have to brush his teeth, too. Really? Dogs have to have their teeth brushed? Yeah, people have to brush their teeth, too. It's part of saying clean and healthy. Even though you can't see it, your mouth and teeth are filled with lots of germs. Your teeth get dirty. So, to keep your teeth clean and healthy, you need to brush them two or three times every day. You should brush your teeth at the sink because you will need water, along with a toothbrush and toothpaste. First, open the toothpaste and squeeze a little bit onto the toothbrush. Just a drop is enough. Then, put the toothbrush with toothpaste into your mouth and move the toothbrush back and forth and up and down on your teeth. Be sure to brush all of your teeth. 
When you're finished brushing, take the toothbrush out of your mouth and spit the toothpaste into the sink. Then rinse your mouth with water and spit again into the sink. Next, rinse off your toothbrush and put it away. Then close the cap on the toothpaste and put it away too. Now you have clean, healthy teeth. All done! Marble, you're nice and clean. And I bet you feel good too. Good job, Marvel. Oh my, look at your paws. You need to get your nails cut. <laughs> Marvel doesn't like to get his nails cut. Lots of people don't like to get their nails cut, but it's an important part of keeping yourself neat and clean. How come? Well, if your nails are too long, you could scratch yourself or someone else, or you could get your nails stuck in something, and that wouldn't be very good. That's something Michelle learned. You see, one day Michelle was getting dressed for school. As she put on her favorite sweater, one of her fingernails got stuck in the threads of the sweater, and she couldn't get it out. She asked her dad for help. Dad? Dad? Dad! Oh, uh, let me help you, honey. Her dad helped her get her fingernail unstuck from the sweater. There you go. Oh, the reason you got stuck is because your nails are too long. Let's cut them. I don't like getting my fingernails cut. Oh, I know, but you know it doesn't hurt, right? No, it just feels funny. But it probably feels better than getting your nails stuck in the sweater, right? Yeah. Okay, Michelle, now just stay calm. I'll be done in a couple of minutes, okay? Michelle is doing a great job getting her fingernails cut. That's good sitting, Michelle. When you sit still and stay calm, I can cut your fingernails a lot more quickly and easily. Michelle is sitting nice and staying calm. Good job, Marvel. It doesn't hurt at all, does it? Good job, Marvel. Now you know how to wash your hands, wash your body, wash your hair, and brush your teeth. And don't forget your fingernails. Right. Keeping your body clean makes you feel good all over. And keeps you healthy, too. Clean and healthy, that's the way to be.